We talked a little bit earlier about the crossover dribble. Now, I want to show you about authentic canning it, making it a little more effective on the court. Um, first of all, when you do the crossover dribble, just like we talked about, over, talked about before, you want to simply cross over, but when you're trying to use this in a game to make it more effective, you want to set it up. And when you're setting up the crossover dribble, there's got to be that point where you, if I'm coming from the right, right side trying to cross a man over to my left, I'm going here, and then once you go here, you got to sell it and then cross over. So it should look a little bit like this. Like that, just like that. And when you do it, the more you do it, like I said, the quicker you get at it, just like any of these other drills. So you go, so the man thinks you're going, you got to sell, you're going one way and cut back the other. And the quicker you do it, the faster you do it, the more effective it'll be. So one more time, let me show it to you and exactly where you place the ball. You want to keep the ball low, keep the ball really low on your crossover. The lower you keep it, the more effective it's going to be. So if you're dribbling up here and you try to cross over, that may work if you're playing against someone that doesn't really know how to play defense, but it probably won't. So if you're playing against somebody who really knows how to play defense, you want to set them up by looking this way really quickly and then go that way. But you want to be careful that you don't carry. A lot of guys in the NBA, huh, you might want to look at it, check them out, I don't know. Some of them probably do carry a little bit, but you want to be careful not to do that. So set it up with a move, that single move, you'll get anybody like that. There you go, perfecting the crossover.